You had a lot of great scenes in the movie, like De Niro's tearful scene. Uh, we had the scene with um, Bradley Cooper when he couldn't find the video. And of course, when Nikki's, uh, Jennifer Lawrence saw Nikki for the first time. Is that, as a screenwriter, is that, do you start with that or do you let it grow when you're writing the screenplay to develop that to that point? Well, you know, you have a story that you know has great um, emotional moments that are going to come. And if you live and love with each character, the whole story through their point of view, you look forward to those moments when they're when those characters are going to have big moments of reckoning or big moments of conflict or big moments of uh, emotional expression. And that's why I love making movies and making characters, as I as I love seeing people in a real, authentic way who are who are having those moments. And that, uh, I love every character, so that's 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 where it all comes from. And the last question is, uh, Jennifer Lawrence, when you brought her in, how much did you work with her and she brought her own kind of unique... Uh, <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> Jennifer, I mean, you know, I mean, Jennifer, everybody. I mean, Bradley was very much a co-pilot. He, he, he inhabited the character that's based on my son, and he really had a complete intuitive vibe for it from his heart, and uh, as De Niro did as a father who has known people personally. So it was all very personal for everyone. Jennifer, I think, resonates with that character. She's a very independent woman and um, an amazing kind of personality with a lot of vulnerability and a lot of toughness. And that all just got channeled right into the character, and it was a gift to the movie to have Jennifer. You realize you're an Oscar factory for actors now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a... I, I feel blessed. If you know, you just keep your head down and you just keep trying to do good work. The good actors will come, and then if you just keep keep working at it, maybe maybe the good movie will come. You know. Thank you so much for giving your time. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer. So our first question is, when you first read the screenplay for Silver Linings Playbook, what was your impression? Uh, reading the screenplay of Silver Linings Playbook was a really exciting moment as a producer because it was so brilliant. I'd been such a fan of David O. Russell's for years, had never gotten a chance to work with him before, and when he called me up and said, can I send you this screenplay that I've adapted, um, that was exciting enough. But it was so beautifully written, so funny, yet also so serious, and the characters were so extraordinary that it was it was an amazing read right from the get-go. And then, okay, so what do you, after you enjoyed the film, I, then you went probably into panic mode. What was your biggest challenge? Like, oh, we now have to make this movie. We did have to make the movie. We did not have a lot of money. We did not have a lot of time. We had a very long script of 153 pages and only 33 days to shoot it in. So that was a huge challenge. And it was the every day trying to do the best job of getting all the work we had done shot that day. That was the biggest uh, hurdle for sure. And how, what was the process of bringing Jennifer Lawrence into the part to play Tiffany? Well, Jennifer Lawrence uh, auditioned via Skype because it, we needed to know who the part was going to go to, and she was in Kentucky and didn't have time to get to where uh, David was. And so um, it started with that unlikely circumstance, but it ended up that she was so extraordinary. Even what him, David, seeing her in, his, in the audition, watching on his computer, that he knew that she was the one. And we have a lot of aspiring screenwriters for, who watch our show. Uh, so to attract producing talent, directing talent, act, what is the biggest piece of advice you can have for them when they're writing their scripts? To really focus on the characters. I mean, that is when actors are looking at a script, you know, they are um, looking at what is the, the, who is the person they're going to get to play? And is there a range of emotions? Is there, a, do they feel real? Is there a three dimensionality to their character? So the more well drawn and um, interesting a character is, the better chance you'll get a great actor to play. And for you, I'm assuming as a producer, now you had such a great job. You have four acting nominations. So clearly your job was made a little better because you had these great four characters. Well, casting is a big part of the producer's job and a very important part because if you cast the movie right, that gives you a real leg up. And certainly in our case, um, we were felt so lucky to have such an amazing cast. And as you said, to get four nominations in all of the four acting categories, which is the first time it's happened at the Oscars in 31 years since Reds, mm -hmm. um, really is a testament to um, David and his brilliant script and um, how incredible these actors um, were in their 
higher roles. Alex, uh, you produced the Oscars a few years ago. Uh, so do you have any inside connections maybe help you stuff the envelopes so you can win? Or, uh... <laughs> no, I have no inside connections, but it is really exciting to be going back as a nominee after having produced it because I know so much of the behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. You know, you're I'm uh, sitting in the audience, I have such an understanding having lived through it of every little piece and how it all comes together, and I'm so happy. I don't have to do any of that this year. I can just sit in the audience and enjoy the show. Thank you so much. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I read the script with this, the De Niro scene and the scene when you first saw Nikki. Is that what attracted you to the character and gave you the character? Think, I've never really read a script where one particular scene has interested me. It's more of just kind of like a like a chemical reaction or something to, to the character of the script. But also, I've, I've been dying to work with David. And have you and Bradley perfected the move yet? The move. We, you know what? After we wrapped, we, we gave up on the move. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.